Here at Chardon Winery, we always bottle our Cabernet and our Chardonnay in the summertime. We are currently bottling our 2008 Cabernet, and our Chardonnay is our 2009 Chardonnay. We're very meticulous about our quality control. Uh, I go every year to Nashville where our labels are printed and actually visually inspect our labels being printed. Then when they arrive here in May, we have a crew that goes through and thumbs through every single label. With our corks, we, most people in the, or our lab here have been to Portugal to learn more about quality control of corks. They're the top end cork, and then we actually have our suppliers sort out the bottom 30% of that so that we can be sure that we're having the best closure and the best uh, visual cork that we possibly can. We taste all of our lots so that we can really select the premier lots, and those go into what we call our barrel blend. So these are lots that we know are for sure gonna make our final bottle. Uh, there are some lots that we're not quite sure how they're going to age and how the fruit's going to come out, so we'll actually keep those separate so that we can evaluate them after the 12 months of aging. At the end of the aging process, we will taste what we call a bench blend together. It'll have all the lots proportionately together, and we'll taste those. And we'll do all lots of different blends, some without this lot and then others including other lots, so we can be sure that we get the best blend possible to go in the bottle. Every year, right before we bottle, we always do we take home what we call our homework. We all take our tank samples home, and it's of the wine that would go into bottle, and we want to be sure that it's, we're drinking it like a consumer would, that it has the elegance and the balance that Jordan really prides itself in having throughout the years. We drink it with our family, and we have it around the dinner table, and it really tries to simulate how our consumers would drink it at home. On the bottling line, we have what we call the clean room, and that's where the wine is actually going to be exposed to the elements. It doesn't ha quite have the cork in it yet. So the bottle will go through the bottle blower and get sparged with nitrogen, and then it will get filled through the filler, and then it finally gets corked. And that's the really crucial room where we have a special air ventilation so that nothing's going to get in the bottle in between the filler and the corker. And we always have someone with a neology background in the clean room checking the dissolved oxygen and the vacuum on the corker and all the other quality control aspects that we check on a regular basis in the clean room. So after the wine gets a cork, it leaves the clean room and goes to the foiler. We use tin capsules so they get spun down and then it goes through the labeler and through the spin down session so that we can be sure that the label is on there perfectly, there aren't any corners coming off. Then we have the three guys at the end packing the bottles. And they are going very fast, but they actually check each individual label to be sure that they're on correctly. They check the foil, and they actually inspect, visually inspect the glass. And it's pretty amazing when we're going that fast what they can catch. It's a crazy time. There's a lot of different things going on in the cellar and on the bottling side in the warehouse that it's just a lot to manage and stay on top of. Not to mention you're also in the lab. We're working on making sure that our wine is stable both heat stable and cold stable. So there's lots of different tests and quality control going on behind the scenes as well. I always think of it as like a parent trying to send their kid off to college. You want to be sure that you give them all the information and do as much as you possibly can to prepare them for the world. So it's kind of like that with your wines. You've waited 12 months to get this wine absolutely perfect. You've tasted all the barrels, you've tasted the blends, and you want to be sure it's perfect.